it's, it's great for the city. It's great that the, the Super Bowl is coming back for a, for a tenth time. Uh, the city knows how to host a Super Bowl. They know how to host a big party, a big event. And that's, that's really what uh, you know, that Super Bowl week has turned into. I mean, every major corporation comes down. Um, they're hosting their employees, their customers. You've got uh, this, the city itself who's trying to put their best foot forward. And listen, New Orleans is, has always been known as the, the place to host these types of events. And so, um, and I think it's, it's perfectly situated for that. When you look at the downtown and French Quarter, and you got the Superdome right there. We're here at the convention center just walking distance to all those things. So um, it's, it's really a great venue. Venue. More so than that, I think just New Orleans hosting another Super Bowl, 11 years since their last one, um, eight years you know, post Katrina, um, just seeing how far this city has come in that amount of time. Uh, I think everyone's going to come down here and have a great time and really want to come back. We're all disappointed with the way that things you know, shook out. Not just the fact that we were hosting the Super Bowl and hey, we'd love to be playing in the Super Bowl in our hometown, but just because the expectation level is so high. I mean, we've made it that way um, because of our success over the last three years. So um, I, I'm really excited about the future. I'm excited about our team, our coaching staff. I'm excited about the direction that we're headed. Um, we just got to get back on track. Uh, here's the thing. I, I think the, res the city is going to respond well because we are great hosts. And this is, this is a great event. This is a time to showcase our city. And we're going to welcome everyone here. Um, now, are there going to be some people that are probably pretty upset with them? Yes, I'm sure there are. Um, but the fact is, we, it's, it's, it's time to move on. You know, I think we, we understand um, the injustices. Uh, and, and while we wish those things would have been acknowledged, um, it is what it is, and, and we have to move on and get ready for next season. It's, Madden is a lot of fun because the game is so realistic and it's so accurate. Um, you know, from the the play. I mean, they're basically using the offensive playbooks for you know for every team. I mean, so every play is like, hey, they actually run this play. Uh, you know, during during the season, um, and just the way that they're able to accurately depict you kind of the strengths of each player, and um, you know, they they actually do a deal where they predict the, uh, you know, they play a game and predict the, the winner of the Super Bowl. And so they've actually predicted the Ravens are going to beat the Niners this year, 27-24. They've picked seven of the last nine Super Bowl winners that way, which uh, I guess kind of describes just how, how accurate the game is. But it's kind of, a, kind of a phenomenon. You know, everybody obviously rushes out to, to pick up the new Madden game every year. Guys are playing in the locker room all the time. So it's, uh, it's certainly popular. I'm looking down at the field, seeing all those players. I can only imagine what it's like. It doesn't even seem real. That's what it is.